Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome back to my new beauty. Today we are going to be doing a post camping facial mask. Be sure to click the subscribe button and also the bell next to it to be notified of all of our new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. So we went to go tape the first part of this video and unfortunately our sound was not working. So I will be switching back and forth between a voiceover and us talking to you now and at the end of the video. Um, but we did want to show you uh, the application of these two products, the before and after photos or uh, video, I should say, of our faces close up, and then our final thoughts on what we think of these two products. So as Emma mentioned, we did go to a Girl Scout camp over the weekend and uh, you know, if you've ever been camping before, you get a little grungy, a little dirty. So when we got home, the first thing I wanted to do was just pamper myself and give myself a facial. Because boy, did I need it. <laughs> I feel so weird videotaping without any makeup on at all, uh, but you know, we decided that this was a good idea, a good thing to do after we got home from camp. So I am going to be using the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. Uh, this is their terracotta one. Now I have used this before. I'm not going to do a spoiler alert and let you know what the results are, but I know what they uh, will be. And so when you open it up, it's this terracotta color. So I've used this now three times and I think I've used probably a third of it, almost half. Uh, so, you know, one jar of it, depending on how much skin surface you have in your face, will last you half a dozen to a dozen masks. So, but I do think it's worth it. It's a drugstore brand. Um, it's great. Anyways, so this is what I'm going to be using and I will let you know how it works out in the end. Okay, the product I'm going to be using is the Avon Clear Skin Pore Penetrating Black Mineral Mask. The instructions on this mask says to apply a thin layer to face and wait for a mask to transform from black to light gray color, which is about 10 to 15 minutes. Once completely dry, rinse thoroughly with warm water. Now I am going to use this and see if I can get rid of the blackheads on my nose because I really want to get rid of them. Okay, so this is where we have to start the voiceover and so we're doing a close-up of Emma's face first. Now she's pointing out all of her large pores and she's got quite a few blackheads as well as some um, white heads on both cheeks and on her nose. So she was hoping that her mask will get rid of those and uh, take those blackheads out of her pores. Uh, just give her a nice clean face. And so this is the final close-up of her face before she uses her mask. And so now we're going to show you an up close of my face. And so you can see over here that I've got very large pores like Emma, so like mother, like daughter. But I don't have nearly as many blackheads as Emma does. I have more blackheads on my nose than I do on my cheeks. The issue I have with my cheeks is that I have quite a bit of texture as I'm pointing out here. Um, so I'm hoping that the mask that I use will unclog my pores, but more so even out the texture on my face, smooth it out, maybe even shrink my pores a little bit. And now we're on to application. The application of mine is fairly easy. You just spread it all over. It does have a little bit of a gritty texture, but it's nice and cooling on the face. Very, very refreshing. Uh, Emma's is a lot smoother, um, but it dries a lot quicker than mine does, um, so she's got to be fairly quick in applying it. And in this clip, I just wanted to show you that Emma's mask does turn from black to gray when it's dried. Mine does darken a little bit in color, but uh, not anything noticeably different. The other thing is that Emma's mask is stiffer when it dries, so she can't talk very well. I can because my mask doesn't. So as you can see, my pimples obviously went down a lot. The one on the, st on the side of my nose has definitely gone down, but on my nose, it got some blackheads out but I still have a lot of blackheads on my nose. So I feel like this um, 
mask is not the best for taking out your blackheads. I feel like a peel-off mask would be a better option if you did want to get rid of your blackheads. Okay, and then for my face, um, you definitely can see, you know, I still have my large pores <laughs> that hasn't gone away. But I do feel like the texture of my skin has gotten quite a bit better. Um, and the blackheads on my nose, some of them are gone, some of them are still there. Um, and then over here, same thing, I feel like the texture is a whole lot more improved. Um, it feels smoother, to be honest with you, even though you can still see um, all of these um, pores on my cheek. It, my skin feels so much smoother so I am going to be using toner and then moisturizing which is part of my normal face daily facial routine um, but the toner should help shrink the pores down just a little bit uh, but yeah so that's the final results close up on my face I'm not a big fan of the mask I mean I feel like if you can call it pore penetrating it should have to get out the blackheads but it didn't do that. I still have tons of blackheads in my nose. If you're gonna give the name pore penetrating, you've got to be able to have the technology to get your blackheads out. So this was not a good mask. Uh, my final thoughts on my mask, it does feel very, very cooling to the face. Not numbing or any anything like that, but it does definitely feels cooling and refreshing to the face. Um, I'm not very happy that there's not a whole lot of product in here. I mean, for a jar like this, I would expect to be getting at least at least a dozen, if not two dozen, different masks out of this. There's no way I can get it out of this jar. So, um, you know, it may just be because I have a larger facial skin surface area, but I just wish there was a little bit more product in here. Otherwise, I really love it. Even though it doesn't completely clean out my pores, um, it still smooths my skin. Like I said, my skin feels so much softer to the touch. Um, and I do feel like it even brightens a little bit. Uh, yeah, I use this about once a week and I really enjoy it and I probably will be purchasing it again. And that is it for this video. So we hope that you really enjoyed this video and make sure that you give it a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful and if you would like to see more videos like this. It really does help us when you give us that big, big thumbs up and that big like. Make sure you leave a comment in the box below. Let us know what face masks you've tried, what things have worked for you, and maybe what things that we should stay clear of. Join us on Instagram under Mom and Me Beauty and with Emma under Emma underscore N underscore 2004. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here and the little bell that's right next to it so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you in our next Mom and Me video. Bye, Bye everyone! everyone.